it's Lee, and today I'm going to share with you our recipe for spaghetti carbonara. So I'm going to start off by cooking the bacon. I have 12 ounces of bacon. This came in a four pack from Sam's Club. I've cut it up probably one inch pieces, something along those lines. I'm going to cook that up. I like it to be really crispy, but you can make it however you like. Pan looks probably a little hot. While the bacon is cooking, I have water coming to a boil on the back burner to cook the pasta. So I'm just going to let this cook until it's crispy. So while the bacon is cooking, we're going to make the sauce. You're going to need one cup of cream or half and half. You could probably use whole milk as well. I haven't tried that. Sorry about the puppies in the background. You're also going to need four egg yolks. salt and pepper to taste. I'm actually not going to add salt because the cheese we're gonna put in is salty. I salted the pasta water and there's bacon. So if I feel like it needs salt later, I'll add it. And it's really to taste. We like a lot of pepper, so I'm going a little heavy on the black pepper. Whisk that together. And add two cups of shredded Parmesan cheese. It's also five ounces, just in case you're curious. And we're gonna set this aside until we're ready for it. So once your bacon gets as crisp as you like it, you're gonna turn it off and drain it. And then go ahead and start boiling your pasta. You wanna boil your pasta just till it's al dente. So I've, I've drained the bacon. I have the burner still turned off, but the pan is still pretty warm. I'm going to add in some garlic. I'm adding about two teaspoons of already chopped garlic that I got in a jar at Target. Um, you could add a couple of cloves, really as much as you like. So I'm adding about two teaspoons, and I'm just gonna let that sit here with the burner off. Still keep an eye on it because you don't want your garlic to burn. That would not be good. The pasta still has a couple of minutes to go, but I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing next. So once the pasta is done, I'm going to drain it. Then I'm going to put it into this pan, turn the heat back on to low, and dump this sauce mixture in, and just stir it around until the cheese melts. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Then just taste it, see if it needs salt or pepper, and you're good to go. So we'll be back as soon as the pasta is finished. Okay, so the pasta's done. I'm pouring it in. I'm going to turn it on low. Mix it up a little bit to get the bacon all through. And I'm gonna pour in our sauce mixture. Oops. and keep tossing until the cheese melts. Oops, or you make a big mess like me. So there you have it, that doesn't take very long at all. So once the cheese has completely melted, Look, it's all stuck in my tongs. I'm going to have to get that out. Once the cheese has completely melted, check it for seasoning.
Maybe just a little more pepper. And you're good to go. Let me plate some of this up for you. And here you have it. Serve it with a salad or green vegetable on the side and you'll have a perfect dinner. So if you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.